Hello. <laughs> I didn't think it would take them long. Um, if you look at some of the videos I did last weekend, you will have noted that I wrote to Joanne Lancaster, head of HDC, um, informing her that the uh, court order um, I received following my um, court case, where of course I was allowed to present no evidence, um, was in fact wrong and therefore unlawful. And a court order is binding and final and irreversible and there's no turning back if they get it wrong. <laughs> Ian Davies. This is a chap who sits in the court and has a nice little chat with the judge like they're down the pub on a Saturday night. Uh, as you were aware, court hearing, blah, blah, blah. The district judge found me guilty of culpable neglect. Did he? Don't recall those words ever being mentioned. I'd sentence you to spend 28 days in prison. This was suspended for you to pay the full amount of within seven days. I can confirm that we have received your payment of that amount on 5th of August and the court has been notified that the debt has been paid in full. I don't know why you'd be notifying the court. You issued the arrest warrant. <laughs> Please now contact ULIB PLC to arrange payment of the 2016-2017 council tax liability and the fees incurred under the Taking Control of Goods Act. And I've also... <laughs> Return to a letter from Newland. So there may be a phone call later on. Um, I mean, this is great. They've just completely ignored the fact. I thought they might try this. They've just completely ignored the fact that the court order is wrong and therefore unlawful and irreversible and final. And they're now insisting, of course. So now they're going to try and arrest me for paying council tax, <laughs> which I thought might be their preferred option. <laughs> what a tangled web we weave uh, so Ian Davies you're a corrupt bent piece of shit and hey like I say if you want to come round and arrest Paul Dacres at this address born on 4th of July 1976 for non-payment of last year's council tax please do so because you won't find him here because I was born on the 4th of July 1972 and your court order is wrong. I don't know how many times I can say that. But this again, as we saw with Ian Sims a few months ago, um, with the, the ban I had contact from contacting the council, um, they just say stuff, and that's the law. It doesn't matter what the law actually is, it's actually what the council says it is at the time, to suit themselves. Um, why aren't the police arresting these people? Oh no, I forgot. The police protect their mates in the council, don't they? That's right. Fucking hell. Now, seriously guys, I implore you to watch these videos, not because I like looking at myself on the screen, but because this is happening everywhere in this country. These councils are taking over. The councils are telling the chief constables what to do, who to arrest. They're giving the police their orders. Unelected council employees are giving the police their orders. And this is all because all the police forces are private limited companies. So it's not actually a public service anymore when you look at it like that. I mean, of course it is, but they're not going to tell you that. Anyway, so, big round of applause for Ian Davis completely making up the law as he goes along. And as I say, there may be a phone call to Newland in a bit which might be quite entertaining. Anyway, I shall see you all later. Thank you for watching.